Hello, I'm Peter Moorbacher and welcome to my Basics of Photoshop Painting video tutorial. First things first, we've got our brand new drawing here of a beautiful elf princess trapped inside an opaque orb. Alright, despite its total lack of definition, I've scanned it in fairly large. 300 dpi is the minimum that you're going to want to work, even if you're producing something for the web. Um, you can start with either a sketch scanned in or produce something new. Um, in this case, I'm going to have to delete out the white since I scanned in a sketch. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. If you um, are confused about what's going on here, uh, check out my other video tutorial. You can see I'm able to pull my tabs out of the way with the tab key to toggle those. Um, I'm also able to move in and out and around the canvas fairly easily without having to switch tools. This is because I'm using the space bar for all of my navigation needs. Holding down the space bar will bring up the pan tool so you can move around. Uh, space bar plus alt will be zoom out. Space bar plus control is zoom in. Okay, so I'm just going to hit control L for some levels real quick. Select the white, delete it, lock, fill, good to go. Three more layers. The bottom layer is going to be our background. Gray, so it's easy on the eyes. Then I'm going to have a darker gray work as our base color. Um, this is going to make it so that our the base of our princess here is going to be nice and opaque. Um, but we're having a hard time seeing it, so I'm going to go into full screen mode so I can move the canvas over. You can only really do this in um, Photoshop CS1 or higher. If you're in Photoshop 7 or lower, you're out of luck. You need to upgrade to be able to move the canvas outside the extents of the window. Um, and okay, so we've got our base laid down going to erase out some of those extraneous lines on the outside. This is just a quick armature sketch like most of mine are. So I'm uh, just going to clean up the outsides there. And then the last layer, which is the fun one, we're going to have our shading. Now uh, I've got my preset usual brush here, um, which is 60% opacity, 40% flow. Um, this means that uh, We've got, uh, we're only going to be laying down 60% of the color, in this case white. So we're going to get about 60% white every time we make a stroke. So we're able to build up some shading. Um, and then the flow means that, here, you can see flow is better demonstrated than described. You've got 100% flow. You have the solid chunk of color that comes out. Each little miniature circle that makes up the stroke is going to be even in its density. As you turn the flow down, you can see that each of these little circles is overlapping each other and has to be, um, you have to, to take the stroke back over itself to fill it in all the way. Uh, if you pull the flow all the way down, you can see that each circle is 10% of the total stroke and its opacity. You need to go back over it many times to build it up all the way. Uh, this uh, makes a much more evenly blended stroke without um, having to reduce the opacity. So I found my magic bullet is 60% opacity, 40% flow. I'm able to scale my brush here with the bracket keys, or I can change it by right-clicking. Change the master diameter. So I'm just going to be building up some shading, starting from the lightest bit and working on my way down. Um, if you need to change your opacity or flow, you can do it real easy with the hotkeys. One for 10%, two for 20%, zero for 100. In this case, I got six for 60. If you hold down shift, to adjust the flow in the same way. One for 10%, two for 20, zero for 100. In this case, shift four for 40% flow. As I get uh, into wanting to shade more and to uh, bring in some... Uh, and to reintroduce some colors from the canvas here, I'm able to um, pick colors off the canvas with the eyedropper tool. And to bring that up real quick, if you're on the paintbrush tool, you just hold down Alt. As long as you're holding down Alt, you've got the eyedropper tool. So I'm able to uh, use that left hand again um, 
to select colors and then reapply them back down onto the canvas. If you ever make any gross mistakes, you know, you can just hit Control Z to bring your ba yourself back. See, all the navigation, color picking, and error correction is all on the left hand there. Um, it's all very purposely positioned in the corner so that you don't need to, you know, you don't need to climb all over the keyboard to be able to get this stuff done. It's, after a little bit of practice, it should be real intuitive. Um, all right, so I've got this thing pretty much shaded. It looks like it is ready for DeviantArt, right? want to save it out for the web because it's too big to post right now. So we can't just save a JPEG as it is. Um, so we're going to use the Save for Web feature, Shift-Control-Alt-S. And here we go. We're going to change our maximum uh, dimension to 800 pixels. It's usually a pretty good number. And now we've got a web safe sized version. And we can save it out as, you know, elf princess. Sweet. Now we're all done and we got a pretty good pain, you know, if I don't say so myself. And now you know pretty much 90% of my entire painting process. This is it. Um, you know, there's always details that, there's always tricks uh, and adjustments and little extras and things, but most of the time when I'm working, it's just the paintbrush, um, alt key to shade, sometimes I'll pull the opacity down some to get something a little bit smoother. Um, but, you know, it's all about your imagination. Um, you really don't need a lot of tools to be able to create artwork in Photoshop. Paintbrush tool will take you a long way as long as you're, um, you've got an, a shading technique that works for you. So uh, play around with the settings, play around with the opacity and the flow, find whatever works good for you because it's all about the feel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know I did. Check out my profile on YouTube for some more videos. I should have stuff going up there all the time. Or check out my work on DeviantArt at one-vox.deviantart.com. Thanks for listening. All right, bye.